Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter 11, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So all we're doing to find the volume is the length times the width times the height, okay? So in this case, we're doing eight times two times three, okay? Well, I would actually do three times two first because that's easy, it's six, and then six times eight, well, that's 48. Okay, and it's going to be cubic. It's being measured in inches, so it's cubic inches. Okay? Okay. So again, we're going to do 7 times 4 times 2. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, and 7 times 8 is 56, and it's being measured in feet, so cubic feet. Okay? You guys go ahead and do number 4. Okay? We are going to do number five together. Okay, it says five times three times four. Okay, well, five times four is 20, and 20 times three is 60. Okay, and then this one says six times five, which is 30, times two, which is also 60. These guys are equal. Okay, we're going to go down and do number six. So the manufacturer ships a product in boxes with the edges of four inches. If 12 boxes are put into a carton, completely fill the carton. What is the volume of the carton? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm guessing that the boxes are shaped like squares. So we would have four times four times four. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and then 16 times 4, I'm just going to do that over here on the side, 4 times 6 is 24, carry our 2, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, so 64, and then we're going to do 64 times 12, okay, so, okay, so, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Tick, tuck, toe, and then 1 times 64. Add them up. 8, 6, 7. So, 768 cubic, and it's being measured in inches. So, cubic inches. Okay? All right. Matt and Mindy each build a rectangular prism that has a length of five, a width of two, and height of four. Matt uses cubes that are one centimeter on each side. Mindy uses cubes that are one inch on each side. What is the volume of each prism? Okay. Well, it's going to have the same number. It's just that the labels are going to be different. Okay. So, five times two is ten, times four is forty. So, Matt. and Mindy, okay, so again, five times four, or sorry, five times two is 10, times four is 40, so they're both gonna be 40, okay, but Matt is gonna be centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters, you, you can absolutely write cubic centimeters, like they've been showing you up here, um, Doing a three is cubic because you're multiplying unit by unit by unit. There's three units, so it's the exponent of three. And Mindy's are in inches. So you can do inches cubed or you can do cubic inches. Totally your choice. Okay. All right, we're going to turn it over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do the spell review. Says Juan made a design with polygons. Which polygon in Juan's design is a pentagon? Well, a pentagon has five sides. This one has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And it looks like B is the only one that has five sides. Okay. Which ordered pair describes the location of point E? Oops, I'm gonna throw a pen at myself. Okay, so over first, over three, up four. 
three, four, done. Okay. What is the least number of acute angles that a triangle can have? What's the least number? Okay. Well, um, triangles, that one would have three. Oh, well, maybe if we, if we did something like that, okay, this is less than, let me do another color. This is 90 less than 90 degrees, and this is less than 90 degrees, but this is way more than 90 degrees. So it could have two. Okay. Okay. Karen bought three pounds of cheese to serve at a picnic. How many ounces of cheese did she buy? So three pounds. When one pound is 16 ounces. Okay. So, pounds and pounds are going. That's good. We're in ounces. We're going to do 16 and we're going to multiply it by three. Okay. Three times six, 18. Carry the one. Three times one is three plus one is four. 48 ounces. If you want to spell out ounces, you absolutely can. That is the abbreviation. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 11.6. Come on back for 11.7. See you soon.